If, like, if, if I'm, like, bush sucking was... on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, so... if it's in my throat. Oh, okay. All right. What do, you, what do you do, man? In your throat? <laughs> Hold up. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the ninth podcast. Today, we have a list of topics. Very dense. <laughs> okay, let's, let's get started off with this. Uh, first of all, we all have waters, and we have this candle right here. Yeah, calm candle. and serene. All right, first topic of the day. Jake Paul fight this weekend. Ooh, it's going to be a good one. We're going to be watching it. Saturday night. Saturday night. It's going to get mad nasty. We're going to have pizza. Actually, I don't know what table we're having. Table nachos. The, the debate was between pizza or table nachos. What do you think? Uh, table nachos is a lot of work. For me, I'm doing it. Yeah, what if she does it? I mean, I'm down then. There you go. You have to get the Tostitos orange cheese, though. Okay. And put the uh, orange cheese and then uh, sprinkle the uh, shredded cheese on top of it, too. Don't just do shredded cheese because that's too dry. Okay, just give me a list. and. Okay, we'll make a list after this. <laughs> okay. So uh, what do you think about it? You think Who do you think is going to win? Who I think is going to win? <laughs> uh, Jake Paul, obviously. Oh, uh, he's Jake definitely going to win. Nate Robinson? Yeah. You think Nate Robinson's going to win? No. He doesn't have, like, any fighting experience. Yeah, I feel the same. He looks, like, rusty and doesn't know how to fight. But Jake Paul, did you see that video he posted where he's, like, knocking people out? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty clean. I saw, uh, I've been watching the videos uh, with Triller or something like that that Jake Paul's been uploading to his YouTube channel. Uh, and they were, like, it, it was all just, like, Nate Robinson. Like, yeah, dude, he doesn't know what it's like to be an athlete. I can play basketball, football baseball he can't do any of that and i was like that has nothing to do with fighting <laughs> so <laughs> i feel like anyone can be an athlete yeah it's a, i mean maybe not like well, not like professional but like yeah. you can have athletic ability you can definitely get better over yeah. time but like to be a fighter it's like a different mindset and it's a different like skill set plus mike tyson's coming back yeah i saw that mike tyson versus roy jones jr mm-hmm. i think I didn't really know who Roy Jones Jones Jones. <laughs> Jones. Right gang. I didn't know who he was before uh before this, but they said I think they're like fifty four and fifty one. Dude, they're old. Yeah. So I don't I know if the how fight's gonna, gonna turn out. I don't know if it's gonna be that like, crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like the Jake yeah. Paul one is probably gonna be <clears> better. He, like, bites his ear off again. Yeah. <laughs> Cause he's like old and actually insane this time. <laughs> God. <laughs> Alright. Well last time last time which fight was it that you and you and Noah Noah was the previous guest that we had on the yeah. podcast. You didn't watch that? Go watch it. Yeah. It came out today. Not today, but... Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Not today that you're watching this, but... Today we're recording this is when it came out. Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you and Noah bet like 100 bucks. Yeah, on... me and Noah both bet on the first Logan Paul versus KSI fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet $100 on Logan Paul and Noah bet 100 on KSI, but then it ended God. up being a draw. So nobody so we both, won. We both just got our money back. So we're going to see if they want to bet again <laughs> and see who really wins. I don't think Noah will. Yeah, I think Noah would vote for Jake Paul, though. Yeah. Anyways, and so would you. So. Yeah. Um, I might vote on or, uh, I might bet on Bovada. Oh, for the fight? I would, honestly. Yeah. Like 100 bucks. Yeah. I think I'm his – I, I haven't checked his odds, though, but I think his odds think are like – It's probably like pretty good, though. Yeah. It's, he won't make as much. But. Yeah. But uh, – yeah. The next one on this list is school is almost done for me. They don't. I don't know about <laughs> school. So, but I only have like a week left of school. So we're going to be repping out some podcasts uh, here in the future, like two a week. And that leads us to the next topic, which is we have a possible guest coming on soon. Possible. So I had a conversation today and we're going to see if it falls through. But if it doesn't, it's okay. Because we're going to on who it is. Um, um, like who? It looks like you're trying to pry this out of me. I'm not trying to <laughs> yeah, but, like, are they, like, what are they known for or what? Like, what are they known is for? Is your friend or what? It's a comedian. Oh, it's a comedian. Okay. He's from Indianapolis. Uh, I don't know. We're going to do an extensive background check on this guy, and we're going to bring him on here and going to blow his mind. So Get some good feedback. Yeah, pretty much. Um, a bunch of other guests, too, is, uh, like friends and stuff like that. Maybe not like famous people or anything like that, but friends coming on here. Um, did you guys? Walter on here. What? Oh yeah, we do need to get Walt on here. He needs to stop working, so he can come he on says here. He always watches the podcast and he wants to be on one. 
He needs to be on the next. He needs to be on the next one. We could do the next one with him. We could like, do one Saturday, like a group podcast, like five guys. Oh, there'd be a lot of audio clips to line up, man. <laughs> God dang, it would be kind of fun. It would, but have you heard about the monolith that landed in Utah? <laughs> I don't know. No. Brock sent me an article. No, I was scrolling Utah. through Instagram and <clears throat> Joe Rogan posted this post of uh, this like giant metal silver. Object. I don't know if you know what a monolith is. I don't know what that but is. But it's like a standing straight, like stone or object, just standing straight up. Oh yeah! Wait, wait. wait. You know, like the things in England. Yeah, yeah. yeah what are like, those called? It's called a monolith, but I don't know what the name no, of but the what's place the f- is called. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. The freaking. You know what we're talking about? The stones that stand vertically that like sit on top of each other. Yeah. You would know if you've seen it. Uh, yeah, I forget the name it's of like it. A it's, picture up right here. Yeah, we're going to throw a picture up on the screen, actually, just so you guys can see. And then here's the monolith we're actually talking about. Somewhere <laughs> over there. All right. Yep. So, yeah, we saw it. <laughs> so, like, technically, it's, technically, it's a monolith because it's standing vertical. But it was so a uh, – some dudes in a helicopter were flying over the desert, and they look down, and they just see this giant metal object, like, randomly. Like, a place where – You think it's aliens? You think it's aliens? And it's just weird. You know what's funny is we were, we're talking about like, aliens. No one knows how it got there. There's no like evidence. There's nothing on it. What do you think, Jordan? I mean, I think it could be aliens. That'd be pretty damn cool if it was. I texted Brock texted me the link, and I was like, "The aliens are looking down at us, laughing right now." <laughs> because we're like, we're, we're like, Whoa, we're like what is this? It's like a but giant yeah, piece of I metal. Mean, it's kind of like, scary to think about. What if it's like something funny for the aliens? Like they like instead of like. Us like drawing a dick on something. They like drop this thing and it like has the same type of meaning. And they just fucking with us right now. They're like, we got that planet. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> they like, just fly away. Or if it's like listening to us or like doing some weird stuff. They can like hear everything right now. What if it's drilling deep inside the earth and there's someone in it? I mean, anything uh, is possible. It's weird. Isn't it? Yeah. But yeah. It is. It's Alexa. Yeah. I swear to God, Alexa makes an appearance at every podcast. We're always talking about her or doing She's something, dude. Here. It's like free advertising. <laughs> no, but I was looking up. That's done. I was looking up. Uh, so me and my friend Ethan were talking about the uh, COVID COVID nineteen. Yeah. The other day, and we were like. Dude, how long do you think this is going to last? Because it's been like a year, like, I don't know, like a week ago or something. And it had been like a year since it got announced mm-hmm. that it was like in the news or whatever. And I looked up the Spanish flu and how long it lasted. And it lasted two years. So it looks like we're in this for another year. Yeah, but what about the flu that's still here? What do you mean? But the Spanish flu is different than the no, flu I'm talking we have. About, yeah. But what about the flu? It's still here. Like you can still get the flu. Yeah, but we're, like, vaccinated against it. Yeah, so we're going to be vaccinated against COVID. Yeah, I guess. Because COVID's more of, like, a common cold type thing. Like, I don't know how it's going to go away. Thing. Like, how would it go away? If, I don't know. I feel like the only way it would go away is if everyone got it. Like, everyone. And then eventually, like, it wouldn't... Yeah, unless like, the strand doesn't mutate. Yeah. Then it could go away. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Enough oh. on that though. We don't want. We don't <laughs> want to talk about that. Me and that. Jordan were watching uh, Kevin Hart his new comedy special on Netflix. Yeah, and he calls it the vid. Vid nineteen. He's like, I got the vid nineteen. Why does he call it vid? Because it's it like sounds short. Like AIDS. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Like, oh, that's fucked up. He's it's like, like a, scary, like AIDS. It's just the vid. It's the vid, bro. I caught the vid. <laughs> People are like, that's actually kind of like sly way to say it, dude. I caught the vid. Everyone's like, dude, that guy. He was like the first comedian to make COVID jokes. Was mm-hmm. posted online. You know what? Like a bunch of rappers started rapping about COVID. They were like, well, they started rapping it, but like he like did Money a whole comedy Yo? show. Oh, about it? Yeah. Oh. Mostly about it. You should watch it. It's pretty good. On Netflix? It's only like an hour. I wish I had someone's Netflix, but I checked last night and I don't have it. Would you have it from like a girl or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got deleted. Yeah, no. I was like, sign me off, dude. Like, the fuck? Um, let's. I got something else. I mean, this is we're just like running down random facts, and we'll get to the meaty part of this. What are we at right now? We're only at nine minutes. Okay. Okay. So, Diego Maradona Maradona dies uh, at age 60. This guy was like a crazy soccer player, I guess. I don't know. Maybe he's comparable to like Cristiano Ronaldo. Maybe not. I don't know. I think they were from different times, though. Um, 
So yeah, he died of a heart attack. And I was watching the news report and she was like, eh, it was from an accumulation of drug and alcohol abuse. And I was like, damn. How old was he? Rest in peace. I just said 60 years old. <laughs> yeah, apparently. 60? Yeah, probably because he was abusing alcohol and drugs. But yeah. you know what like Timmy played for? Nope. Because I don't know anything about soccer. <laughs> I watched like a short video. I watched like. Well, rest uh, in peace to that guy, man. Yeah, I watched soccer highlight. His highlights were pretty insane, though. He hit like a half uh, field shot, dude. Dude has a freaking leg on him. But yeah. yeah, I've never seen him or heard of him. But he's crazy. Anyways, I do have a story for you guys. I read this before I came over here, and this shit's fucking wild. Okay, <laughs> so pretend like. You're getting groceries, and you're walking across the street to get to your car, and then you get hit by not one car, not two, <laughs> but three cars. Like a pin pop. Three hit and runs. I read the story about this guy in Los Angeles. I think his name was – ah, freak, I forget his name. Fuentes was his last name. So he was walking across the street from getting groceries to go to his car, and he got hit by a guy on a motorcycle – Right, and the guy on the motorcycle <laughs> drove away, and then he was laying on the ground. And then they turn a corner. Some some other guy turns a corner in a white van and runs him over. And then, <laughs> and then the third guy ran him over as well, and they all drove away. Wow! And then, like I guess LAPD like has a video or some shit. So is there? Did you see the video online? I didn't watch it. <laughs> It'd probably be pretty funny. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. People just drive away after they run over someone. Like, oh. That's nothing. Just yeah, like you just bump it, you yeah. run over a body and keep going. Dude, I'm always driving on like the highway and just see like random hitchhikers like walking down the road. I'm always scared they're just gonna like pop out. Yeah, and, and like they, I'm gonna hit them. They're, they're like gonna fly back. They like you drive past and they're just like, Oh, it's time to go. Yeah. And they like just you don't know decide. If they're trying to, like we were driving the other day, some guy was walking in my lane, like towards me, the turn lane. That's nah dude. That's fucked like up. Like he wouldn't move, like he was trying to die. I don't know, that stuff's weird. Some people are weird. Like near roads and shit, dude. They think they're just like, Oh yeah, I'm fucking invincible. Until yeah, they get like, like clipped they, like, by walk in the um, middle of the road like it's normal or something. It's not. It's not fucking normal. <laughs> uh Shit, okay. Now we're getting into a dense, dense area of the podcast. These are four questions right here. All right. Here's the first one. (laughs) Why do girls, especially hot ones, date ugly fat guys? Or just ugly guys in general? Or just fat guys in general? So it it could be like ugly, ugly and fat, or uh, fat. I just think girls don't know their worth. Like, they could date a million ugly men and think that's, like, that's what they deserve. Do you think that's why? What? I think some of it's that. I feel like guys could have the same problem. they better than, like... That could be, too. You know a lot saying? of girls don't like ego in guys. Yeah. So, I mean... Like, an ugly fat guy wouldn't have an ego. Yeah, exactly. I get... Well, like, for the most part. Unless he's, like, rich. Yeah. Or oh, could it be the money thing? money thing? Are they dating him? Yeah, but what if he's got no money and he's fat and ugly and they're hot? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, then... yeah, that's just okay, think a of bad it... setup for life. Dude. Well, think of it this way. Okay, think of an ugly girl dating an ugly guy. That's what her standards are. That's what she thinks is attractive. That's like, so maybe that's yeah. what the like the hot girl standards are. That's what she thinks attractive. Because not everybody thinks the same people are attractive. Yeah, yeah, that is so true. It could be just different perspective. A lot of people think that, like, some people are attractive while, while like, others may be like, nah, dude, she's, like, weird. Yeah, like, some of my friends will say, oh, that girl's so hot. And, like, I don't even think she's that hot. I'm like, not really, dude. Yeah. It's weird. Everyone has, like, a different type. Everyone has their own taste. Yeah. You know? Their own type. Um, Is yours... Busty? (laughs) (laughs) Is your busty women? That's, like, the second... (laughs) Is that the second podcast we had? Busty women... I mean, I'm not going to say it's my type. What is your type? I don't know. I don't know, honestly. You don't have a type? Not really. Um, probably like uh, a redhead that's short <laughs> <laughs> and not fat, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you're like naming off a girl that you're like talking to right now. No, I'm not. I'm not. Fuck out of here. No, no, no. Uh, what's your type then? <clears throat> <laughs> What's your type? Uh, I just like small petite girls. 
What's your with child Jordan? brunette hair? Child. With brunette hair and um, fucking middle part or whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> You're just with a middle part. She's pony. wearing a striped t-shirt. <laughs> God. What's your type? My type? Dark hair and light eyes. That's what I always say. I have dark eyes, though. You have light brown eyes. Hazel? Like, Hazel. yeah, exactly. Like, I like lighter hazel? eyes. I don't like the dark, dark brown eyes. That's you don't like I Chinese have. people have, like, black eyes almost mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying you can't like see color in there well like for the most part when i was born like i'm pretty sure my birth certificate says i have black eyes that's weird i didn't know they could classify as black i've never seen someone with a black eye color i mean mine's pretty dark i, I mean, mean the yeah you can consider it right like now. black so if people you... have like weird eyes where it's like 20 different colors yeah or like have sick. two different colored eyes yeah That'd be sick. um so like Brock, if you were, this is all hypothetical. So, Brock, if you were like, if some chick was like, you know, in your DMs or something, and you and you were like, oh, what up? Like, yeah. she was like, add me on Snap, and you were like, all right, yeah, all right. And then she was like, you guys like, you added her, and you like looked at her Snap score, and it was like one mil. Plus. <laughs> oh <my God>. What <laughs> would you do? What would you do? One million Snap score, I'd have to like. <clears throat> not talk to her. You have to cut her off. <laughs> like one million snap score means she's talking to a lot of different guys. A lot of different guys on the a daily lot of basis. Thirst snaps and out them. Thirst snaps. Yeah. What does that mean? Like you know, like slutty photos. They send oh out. okay. Just to like attract different men. Yeah, I got one of those from uh, from a chick. I can't remember if it was this year or last year, but she was a freshman. Ooh, yeah, and she was definitely thirsty. Yeah, and I was like, she just sent me a picture of like randomly out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm not gonna like describe it, but it was. I was like, dude, I just <laughs> didn't even. I opened it and I like unedited her. <laughs> I don't like that. I feel bad, but like I don't. No, I'm not trying I'm to not catch into it. Girls who talk to a lot of guys. I don't like that either. Yeah. Uh, it's better to be more like. What do you think about excluded? a high snap score? Yeah, I don't think it matters. Even for a guy. Like, yeah. what if a guy has, like, a 500,000 snap score? Okay. Well, I feel like it's hard to find a guy who has a 500... Th- well, maybe not 500,000, but, like, a million. I know, like, chicks who million have a million. is, like, insane. That's fucking I mean, ridiculous. But think how long Snapchat's been a lot. Like, when did you download Snapchat? Dude, I downloaded Snapchat... In like, middle school. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Mine's only, like, 150, I think. Yeah, mine is... I'm pretty sure mine's, like, 130. But I remember going through, like, a stage, especially, like, in high school, where I didn't text anybody. Like, I only yeah. Snapchatted people, so that would raise a snap score. Like, mine's not high at all. Also, but. if you post on your story a lot, too, it boosts your snap score. Yeah. What do you mean? Because people, like, swipe up on it or something? Every time you post your story, your st- no. Oh, I didn't know score that. Goes I thought right. it was, like, only sent or received. Mm-hmm. Like, you have to send it to someone. Too. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say a snap score matters, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Some chick was, like, talking to me, and she was like, hey, like... You want to hang out sometime? And I was like, well, let me do a background check. Fuck, <laughs> run her snap like, score Instagram, run her snap score. I'm like, nah, no thanks. I like look at her comments on Instagram. I'm like, it's funny because your ex-boyfriend's still commenting and you're liking them. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm out. I'm glad you can't see who, like, what photos you've liked on Instagram anymore. Yeah, they took that away a while ago. I Dude, remember I Noah Hunter literally <laughs> oh my watched, God. like, he was, like, surveillance on my, like, Instagram likes. Noah would sit on the freaking <laughs> activity feed and refresh constantly and wait for one of us, bro. I get, like, a <laughs> screenshot of a thing that y'all, like, I liked. I was like, what the fuck? He was like, I see you, bro, and, like, circle it on text. I'm like, bro. He's, like, sitting in his room behind, like, a master computer, just, like, refreshing, clicking. God. Noah's freaking weird oh. like that, though. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna like hear that um he's like bro look at this meme he <laughs> that's how drew is drew will just keep showing me memes and drew knows this drew will just keep blasting me, me with memes and he'll just be like hey bro dude and then he'll be like dude have you seen this one though and i'm like dude that one has a paragraph attached to it and not reading it <laughs> <laughs> at the point it just gets like old looking at memes yeah <clears throat> and I feel like you have to be in. It has a to be like random, like sent to my text messages while I'm doing something. Yeah, or like you have to be in the in the mood. Yeah, technically, you know, because I could like see something and it's not funny, or like I could see it and I'm like having a good time, and then I see it and I'm like, oh, that's hilarious, mm-hmm. you know. But it's like never. <laughs> yeah. If you're just constantly blasting me with, nah, dude, I'm not gonna laugh. 
like you're just downloading this information to my brain and I don't need <laughs> God. I like lose my attention to you like you said if there's a big paragraph I'm like yeah I'll, I'll literally oh God, skim I'm already not gonna laugh now I'll skim the paragraph oh yeah, yeah no, I'll literally you're like, you paragraph. act like you're ready you're like <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, dude, that's freaking fried. He's like, dude, do you get it though? And I'm like, totally. He's like, explain it then. And I'm like, let's <laughs> like walk away. I'm like, dude, I don't fucking, I don't want to read it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I'm guilty have, of that, aren't I? Showing you. Show you I show you everything. You look embarrassed now. You call, <laughs> you, you call Noah Hunter. Damn, that's okay. so. <laughs> you and Noah have like the same hair. I know we have the same hair. That's weird. <laughs> I thought Noah and my mom had the same hair. That's my, this Jordan is my theory. Jordan and Noah and your mom have the same hair. This is my theory. <laughs> Brock has a crush on Noah Hunter. And that's why he found me and started dating me. is because I look like Noah. Mm. Probably. That does make a lot of sense now. Mm-hmm. I had to really piece it together. Um, <laughs> this kind of goes back to like girls dating ugly fat guys or ugly guys or fat guys. Yeah. Um, dad bods. Dead bods? Those were in. Those were like a thing in, I don't know, 2018 or something like that. Or maybe 2017. I have a dad bod. What do you think about dad bods? I love dad bods. <laughs> like, oh, shit! You guys just you throw her on the table. Oh, you're like, like, no! no. <laughs> She's not. like, I love dad bods. You were like, holy <laughs> <laughs> fuck, dude. Jeez, I didn't know you guys had to go ham on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what are you saying? Like, what do you think about a dad bod? Yeah. I've just... It, there's no joy for... I mean, I'm going to say this for every girl. There's no joy in, like, going to, like, cuddle your significant other, and it's just bone and ab and gross. That's not comfortable. That's so uncomfortable. Yeah, so if you have, like, a little, <laughs> bit, a little bit of something there, then it's nice. Oh, good. Yeah? Speaking of something there, <laughs> does size matter? You're the only one who can answer. Yeah. So, there's literally no other option. I don't think it does. Then can you explain? Me, okay. Do you ever heard the quote where it's like, it's not the size of the boat, it's the motion of the ocean? Yeah, I've That's heard that. That's what it is. Exactly. I mean, if you know what you're doing, then you don't really need like a big size, you know? Okay. <laughs> okay. You're like, if you know the ways of, of the world, then you should be good to go. Exactly. If you know how the waves work, you know what's going, the weather. Yeah. But what if you have a micro? A macropanus? A macropanus? We don't know what a macropanus is. It's a micro penis. What if you have a micro penis? Is it okay. still about the waves in the ocean? <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn. So what is it in that case? You're fucked, I mean. <laughs> She's like, you hear that? You have a micro penis? You're fucked. God dang, dude. It's gonna screw okay. up. I, I feel like at a certain size, then it's gonna get, like, too, if you have too low of a size, where it's what's like... too low? Yeah, what's too low? <laughs> what is we need numbers low? here. Okay, okay, no, we need I would digits. say... I would say four or lower. Is small? Yeah. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> God dang it. Well, I'm screwed then. I mean, I've had a micro peen for a micro while. Peen. Yeah. I'm a crop in this. No, so four or lower? Yeah. What's well, considered big? Yeah. <laughs> what's considered, yeah, what's considered what big? What the fuck is right now? Eyes? What's considered big? Okay. He's, he's like, you better say the right answer. God yeah. dang it. Like... Like a okay, big is it like what's a good preferred, size? Or what's, like a what's your preferred size? What's your preferred size? What's your preferred size? Is is uh, around seven and a half? Like seven, I would say. Seven and a half. Seven, seven, <laughs> seven, seven and a half. Oh, now I'm gonna look like a whore because I don't know the right answer to that question. But okay. <laughs> I guess the real she question is. Happy with me then. What? She must be <laughs> unhappy with me then. <laughs> Up, dude. <coughs> I uh, I always wonder though, how would you know what the actual size is if you never measured it? Not not for us, because no, no, no. obviously we can, because yeah. it's ours. <coughs> but like for you guys, how would you know? You're like, oh well, four is too small. What what does four look like? Do you really know what four looks like? 
Uh, Unless you ask him and he's like, it's four. Well, I mean, if you... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know what she to She told say. me if the guy has a small penis, she won't date him. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> you did <laughs> Really? Because I dated guys with small penises. Dude. I'm not... No! Me? No, <laughs> I, I've learned my lesson on calling people out on the podcast, okay? Yeah. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Let's, uh, anyways. <laughs> but There's no. another question I freaking had that had to do with that. Oh, yeah. I guess, like, for guys, not a question, more of a comment, but, like, for guys. I don't know. Drew has had some experiences. I'm not going to, like, quote him, but, like, I just told me some experiences where it's, like, apparently, like, throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Uh, so, like, there is that difference for, like, girls and guys. Yeah, so, yeah. like, what we think. It's yeah. Like a girl yeah. down there. But here's the question, though. Is the is the meow is it too loose or is your dick too small? Is it too small? Yeah. <clears throat> That's the question. I've learned something also the What? Small girls have smaller girls have tighter meows. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, they're like pelvis is smaller, so it's like Oh, is that is that a real thing? That's from my experience. <laughs> so far, my studies. <laughs> Box out here, like running tests. God, he like got done like smashing some chick, and he like he, went like, back to his freaking notebook. She's like, "What are you doing over there?" His lair. He's like, no, he just has that on the wall. Interesting experience. Have you experienced that with smaller chicks? I'm trying to think, smaller chicks. Mm, I feel like all the chicks that I've like, uh, like, have you ever actually like noticed a like substantial difference? Like, can you tell? A little bit, a little bit, and in 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 one chick in in particular. But other than that, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Most of them are like the same size. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I would say. Well, Another, you know, like if you have more sex, it doesn't like stretch it out. It's not like a balloon. Women have babies, and it goes back down. How does that work? By the way. Have babies? Like how does how do you, how do you have a child and then it like shrinks back down? Yeah, how does that work? You know, it gets. I mean, like that's like, like big. That is bigger way that. bigger than that. Oh. I was like, doesn't get. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. it's like Austin sent me a picture, a video of childbirth like a few years ago, <laughs> dude, and that's still in my brain. <laughs> I remember open that on Instagram. I was like, what the? Well, freak? sometimes don't don't they get sewed back together? C section. More most C sections when they cut it out of your stomach. Wait, so if, like, a chick was having a baby and the baby was too big, would it, like, split? Okay, I'm telling you, like, 99% of the time that it rips or they cut it. Oh. Yeah. That's nasty. Yeah. So how are you supposed to have a natural childbirth if it rips? You know what I'm saying? It's going to rip no matter what. Yeah, but, like, if the they chick was, like... back together. Oh, so she'd go, like, the, to the hospital afterwards after, like, oh, having like a baby. Yeah, like, you know how they have, like, kids in yeah, kiddie yeah, pools yeah. or whatever? They probably just let it heal naturally. Too, yeah, it, it can heal naturally. Hmm. They, like, they either sew it up if it's, like, too bad, or they just let it heal on its own. Interesting. This also brings into the equation... What? What do you think of a bush? <laughs> oh, what do you think of a bush? What do I think of a bush? Do you like a bush or no bush? For me or for her? For you. <laughs> for me? I would prefer no bush. No. <laughs> no Are you bush? talking about on a girl? Yeah. Or oh, uh, oh okay, wait. <laughs> both either both ways I prefer no bush. Yeah, me too. Is the camera still on? Oh, let me check. Alright. It's fine. But yeah, I would prefer no bush, because uh, I think bush just kind of gets in the way. Possibly a this landing is a really strip. Personal podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! This is a juicy podcast. I'm not gonna lie. We have uh, I don't know what are we at? 28 minutes. Should we wrap it up soon? Oh, dang. Do you have any more content on there? No, that was the end of it. But like, we've been going on. Wait, what do you think about a bush? I don't. I can go either way. I don't think no, I would, not like a, like a, yeah, not like this long, yeah, but like if nah. it's like this. If there was a bush that was, if like if, if I'm like bush sucking th- on it, <laughs> what? <laughs> it so- like if it's in my throat. Oh, okay. all right. What do you what do you do, man? In your throat? <laughs> God dang it! I have a vacuum. 
<laughs> we're getting <laughs> sick. <laughs> all, right, all right, we're gonna yeah. Let's just relax here. <laughs> she like doesn't want you to say something. No, that's not <laughs> yeah. What? Oh. You already said. What do you think about a book? <laughs> On a guy. On a guy? What about yeah. yourself? On myself? I think it's uncomfortable. Mm. All right. Per usual, the camera shut off. But we're about to wrap things up here on the podcast. But uh, any more comments about bushes? <laughs> nah. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll wrap things up here then. <clears throat> Let me just give a rundown. We talked about Jake Paul's fight this weekend. We're going to watch it this weekend. We'll probably have a debrief after that about like the, the fight and stuff like that and how it went. Um... Talked about guests coming on here. School's almost done. Monolith landed in Utah. Look that up. There's a pictures and videos, even though we threw them up on the screen already. Um, we're going to be in coronavirus for another year. Um, <laughs> so, and don't get hit by three cars at the same time. And uh, yeah, we determined that size doesn't really matter because it's about the motion in the ocean. But True. I feel like everyone has their own opinion. So mm-hmm. um, it's kind of dependent on who you are. So, and shave your bush. <laughs> so, you guys have any final words? Nope. Nope. All right. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.